Okay, come on, work with me, OBS. <laughs> oh my God, if I don't always have technical difficulties. But anyway, uh, we are live. We are live again. Hello, everybody on Instagram. Hello to everybody on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in to my live this evening. Um, no reviews tonight on TV shows or anything. Lately, uh, there hasn't really been anything on that I've been interested in enough to watch <laughs> or review. And most of my favorite shows, they're off for the season. So, you know, now we're waiting on, you know, other shows to start coming back on. They're slowly starting to come back on, you know, a show here, a show there. Um, the one I'm most interested in is Power. I can't wait till that one comes back on. But anyway, anyway, um, come on in. Please make sure you uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber, and also make sure you uh, share share the live, share to your media social platforms like um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you know, whichever uh, social media platforms that you use on a regular basis. And make sure you have your drinks. I have my big blue cup. <laughs> and as usual, you don't never know what's in the big blue cup. <laughs> it could be some tea for all you know, or some Kool-Aid, some Lele, or some juice, some apple juice, or, you know, it could be anything, water, never know. <laughs> but anyway, um, as you guys already know, uh, what well, most of you probably know by now, I want to make sure um, that we keep Donnie McClurkin. Mm. Get a sip or whatever that is. Want to keep Donnie McClurkin um, in our prayers this evening? I don't know if you guys had read up on it or not, but Donnie McClurkin was involved in an accident. Um, they said he had passed out, you know, at the wheel when he was driving. He had, you know, was unconscious and... I guess there were some people, you know, following, not following behind him, but, you know, driving behind him, behind him while he was work, while he was driving. And he just happened to, you know, pass out while he was driving. And so he said, you know, thank God for the two, you know, human angels. He called, he called them human angels because, of course, they were humans, you know what I mean? He basically was trying to give a shout out to the people who God had, you know, had behind him, had to be able to see him, you know, um, if if, it, if he was driving by himself and nobody else was around or on the road he was driving on, you know, who knows what could happen? He could have passed out and you know, never regained consciousness or whatnot, but um, he was in a serious accident. Um, around 12.50 a.m. Um, he said he passed out while driving on the highway. The car was totaled. He was hospitalized. Um, and I guess they've been running tests on him. I'm hoping all is well. I know um, there's been controversy about this, you know, gospel singer, preacher, um, you know, in the past. So regardless of how you feel about the man, you know, I just, you know, I'm going to keep them in my prayers and I hope that everybody else keeps them in his prayers too, because that is something serious. And matter of fact, let me show a picture of him real quick. <clears throat> See if I can get a picture of him. Mm. I don't know if it'll come up. Oh, we'll try. We'll try. One second. Mm. 
Okay, that's the wrong screen. One second. I got too many screens up. <clears throat> okay, let me make this one smaller. Donnie McClurkin. Okay. Okay, here it is. And it says, you know, his air airbags deployed, so that's a good thing, too. Um, that could have possibly saved him, you know, from being more severely hurt. But, ooh, that is crazy. I don't know what, if, if he took ill or if he was, if he, I mean, it was 1250 a.m. in the morning. So, you know, I dare not say, you know, or even try to guess, um, you know, what could have possibly, you know, happened. But um, his airbags did deploy and somebody happened to be, you know, driving behind him. They happened to see him, you know, swerving in and out the lane. So again, you know, he wanted to thank the two humanly angels. He said, that's what he called them. He said human angels for uh, being there at that time. And here's the pic right here. Okay, here he is right here. That's a picture of him in the hospital. And again, um, this happened at 12.50 a.m. I mean, he could have been tired. He could have been sleepy. He could have been coming from an event. You know, he's a, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. He's a big, you know, star as far as in the Christian music industry, the gospel industry. So who knows, you know, where he could have been coming from that time of night. But here's a picture of him in his hospital bed. And he's thanking, you know, all his fans, you know, for praying for him and keeping him in their prayers. So again, I just want to, you know, share that information for those of you who might not know. Um, it's been trending, so most of you probably do know. But again, for those of you who do not know, Donnie McClurkin was in a serious accident. He passed out at the wheel. Um, thank God there was somebody behind him. They said they intentionally follow him because they were concerned you know you see a car swerving in and out of a lane and you know it could be they, they should never, never know what they were thinking they're probably thinking oh no you know somebody's either falling asleep at the wheel somebody's probably drunk somebody's probably high you know you see people driving crazy sometimes you be like man what they on they swerving in and out the lane and you know, running over the curb. And <laughs> so I'm just glad that somebody was there. And as soon as he crashed, they called the cops and they, they came to his rescue. So Donnie McClurkin, please get well soon. <clears throat> but um, back to, you know, what this live is supposed to be initially about um, is Kevin Hart. Uh, a lot of people been, you know, talking about Kevin Hart lately. He's been in the news like crazy. Of course, um, it's for what's going on as far as the the um, the award show, the Oscars. Now, not even forty eight hours after Kevin Hart had, you know, agreed <laughs> agreed to do the Oscars. He turned down the Oscars and he turned down the Oscars because people were bringing up, you know, the fact that he had did some, you know, tweets that they thought were kind of like homophobic. You know, some of his, uh, you know, it, he's a big time comedian. Big time comedian. Again, he's pretty controversial too. A lot of people don't like Kevin Hart. A lot of people don't think he's funny. Um, you know, <laughs> they think he's corny. Um, they don't approve of him at all. And they don't really think he's a real comedian. I beg to differ. I actually like, you know, Kevin Hart. I like all his material that I have seen thus far. Um, that's from movies to, you know, stand up. I like all his, you know, comedy uh, skits and movies and stand-ups and all that kind of stuff. So when I had heard that he was going to be hosting the Oscars, I was, okay, normally I don't get excited about the Oscars. 
Hey, I hardly get excited about the Grammy. Sometimes I watch, sometimes I don't. Sometimes, you know, I'll record it and then just, you know, fast forward through the parts that I want to see. But the Oscars, I never, I, and all the time I can remember, um, I can't remember ever being excited for the Oscars. I just have it. <laughs> so when I found out that Kevin Hart, you know, was going to be hosting the Oscars, I got excited. Like a lot of people, I heard that from a lot of people. They're like, oh, I guess I'm going to watch the Oscars. You know, Kevin Hart is going to be hosting. You know, this should be funny and very entertaining. And, you know, a lot of people is looking forward to it. And then to hear later that he had to turn it down and it was specifically for uh, people were basically accusing him of being homophobic, um, making, you know, hum hum homosexual jokes. He's a, the thing is, you know, he's a comedian and a lot of people are complaining about has political correctness gone too far. That's what a lot of people are complaining about lately. Like... I said this before on another one of my lives. It's like back in the day, I was, matter of fact, I was even talking to my son about this, my uh, youngest son who's 17. I was talking about him, you know, because sometimes when I hear things out in the media, um, I'll bring it to my son's attention. And I'll, because, you know, kids, teenagers, they be on social media. They normally see more than what we see. They'll come to you and be like, Mom, did you hear about, you know, whatever, whatever. Dad, did you see such and such on whatever, whatever. So I do the same thing with them, uh, you know, sometimes. And I had asked my 17-year-old, you know, what did he think about the situation? And basically, um... My 17-year-old, when I asked him about what he thought about the subject, he actually said that he agrees with what Chris, I mean, Nick Cannon has said. And I was like, Nick Cannon, you know, Nick Cannon, he's, he's also, you know, really famous. He's been around for a long time. He's done comedy for a long time. Um, you know, pretty well known. And him and Kevin Hart are, you know, pretty good friends. And he basically stood up for him. Now, mind you, he's not the only one because I've seen several different uh, websites and several different, act, not even, not just actors. I mean, not just comedians, but I've seen just regular actors like movie actors and actresses and, you know, stand up on Kevin Hart's behalf. Um, I guess the thing was about 10 years ago, because it's about to be 2019, in a couple of weeks. And about 10 years ago, he had done, um, made some tweets and, you know, some, they call them homophobic tweets or, you know, jokes or whatnot. And actually, I mean, it, it was, it's basically throughout his career, but it's not just him. That's my thing. Okay. I'm gonna just cut to the chase real quick. Um, a lot of comedians back then, you know, before this, serious PC culture, you know, started, political correctness culture started. Um, a lot of comedians, they joked about everything and anything under the sun. Nothing was off limit. Nothing was off limits. Um, straight people, gay people, lesbians, bisexuals, I mean, Transect every, I mean, and again, straight people. Every, no, nothing was off limit. Um, your dog, your cat, your mama, your auntie, your uncle, your teacher. I mean, nothing was off limit. Other actors, other comedians, they talked about whatever, whatever, and we laughed and we joked about it. And you know, it wasn't like it is today, where you have to worry so much about censoring things. Now, there are certain things that I'm just going to say that you just should not say. There are certain things that you have to think to yourself and you have to say, self, is that something I should say? Do I think that will give me some backlash if I say that, if I add that into my skit, if I add that? You know what I mean? So there are certain things, but I think... 
a lot of people, a lot of the time, um, try to make it seem like there's more into it. And that's why a lot of people are defending him. Now, I love all my community, whether it's gay, lesbian, trans, straight, whatnot. I just love people in general. Um, I'm not homophobic at all. Um, I know a lot of people say it all the time. Oh, I have, you know, gay people in my family or gay friends or, you know, everybody does. Everybody does. So I'm not going to use that as a reason why I'm like, you know, not homophobic. But, you know, in general, I love people. And there, again, are certain things that you just have to watch what you say. I have gay friends and I have gay family members, um, lesbians as well, you know, lesbians, men, you know, men and women who are gay. Um, and I have relatives who are bi. I mean, if, if if it's your choice, that's your choice. I don't judge nobody. I don't judge nobody. I treat you the same regardless. Um, you're my cousin till death do us part. You're my friend, you know, till death do us part. And I won't treat you any different because of who you decide to sleep with. Um, that's your business. Uh, there's also certain things that I know not to say, you know, on my social media platforms, on my Facebook, you know, over the years, like I said, over the years, things have tremendously changed. Maybe 5, 10, 15 years ago on Facebook, on, let's see, what were we using mostly back then? Like MySpace and some other, you know, social networks. Uh, we would put like, we would see a joke and we would copy it and we would post it. You know, we would retweet it um, without thinking, you know, if we're offending someone because it was funny. It is like funny. Like there's so many memes out here now that we look at and we repost because it's funny. Um, and over the years, what I was saying on my live, I don't know if that was last week. I can't even remember which live it was or which show or what I was reviewing. But I was saying like back in the day, like back in the day with like Richard Pryor and Red Fox and uh, Eddie Murphy's and, you know, them, the big ones from back in the day, um, it was no hose barred, no hose barred. But my thing is, as far as with Kevin Hart, um, this was a long, long time ago. Um, he had apologized and a lot of people are defending him because they're like, okay, once you apologize to somebody or you apologize to a community or you apologize, whoever you offend, if it was mothers, if it was fathers, if it was girls or boys, gays, lesbians, straight, you know, whoever you offended and you already apologize, like how many times do they expect you to apologize and grovel and beg for forgiveness? I guess that's what the main thing is right now for a lot of people, um, including me. I felt kind of bad that he turned down the Oscars because who wouldn't want to host Oscars? I mean, if you're in that industry, an actor, an actress, a comedian, I mean, who? that's like, you know, huge. Granted, granted, I don't get that excited about the Oscars when it comes on every year, but it's still, that doesn't take away from how huge of, you know, a program that it has been for many years and how huge it is to a lot of people, you know, a lot of people in the industry. So I don't take away from it just because it's not necessarily my cup of tea to watch. Um, but again, the Oscars this year probably would have had way more viewers than at least the last couple of years, just because a lot of people do like Kevin Hart. Some of them don't like Kevin Hart, but a lot of people do like Kevin Hart. I mean, he wouldn't still be as big as he is today traveling all over the world if a lot of people didn't love him still. I mean, right now he's in um, Australia right now selling out over there on tour. So... Some people's like, you know, Kevin Hart, he shouldn't have done that. Um, you know, why did he do that? And why didn't he just apologize and then just, you know, let it go? But I kind of feel him and I kind of feel where where Nick Cannon was coming from 
like you're basically saying, you know, I apologized. I said I wasn't going to apologize again, but you know, he decided to be, you know, the bigger person, um, and apologize again. And Nick, what did he say? He said it was like a gangster move. He's <laughs> He said that was a G move. That was like a gangster move. He was like, you know what? I ain't gonna apologize. You know what? I'll apologize again just to please people, to make them happy. I'll apologize again. Uh, even though everything he did in the past was just all in uh, the, the comedian lifestyle, you know, joking about any and everything. Um, so he apologized again and then turned around and declined to host. Like, who does that? <laughs> who does that? How many, how many stars do you think would have done something like that? How many stars do you think would have turned around and decided, you know what? Okay, I'm going to apologize just because I really want to do this. I really want to do this show. So I'm going to apologize and then still, you know, do the show, still host the show. As a matter of fact, let me grab my, hold on one second. I have to plug my laptop in before it dies. Oh. <sighs> But that's why Nick Cannon said that's a G move because he's basically saying, you know what? I'm going to apologize. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to make everybody happy. They can't say, you know, Kevin Hart refused to apologize because I'm going to apologize again. You know, and I think he was trying to say, basically, first of all, this happened how long ago? Second of all, people grow, people change. We all know about the uh political the PC culture of uh, this time and how some of uh, even comedians sometimes don't even have a leeway. They gotta be so concerned with slipping up, you know, and, and offending somebody without trying to offend, just trying to be comedic. And so that's why Nick Cannon, you know, was like, you know what? That's a G move. You know, that's my friend. I support him. I defend him. And as a matter of fact, let me show you the, vid the, the video <coughs> of Nick Cannon and show y'all real quick a clip of what he was saying. Let me make sure I got the volume up. Okay, hold on. Got the job, but I was even more proud the way that you handled this entire situation because what I've done in the past and what I commend him for what he did, he wasn't going to allow uh, some organization to dictate or control how he moved. So it was very fascinating to me that he first chose to step down, then he apologized if he offended anyone because he wasn't going to let somebody say, Oh, you can keep this job or we're going to hang this job over your head if you do this. Mm -hmm. You're not going to tell me what I'm going to do. But if I offended anybody, I truly apologize. But you can keep your job. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, I was like, woo, that's yeah. a gangster move. Okay, so y'all heard what Nick Cannon said. So y'all heard what Nick Cannon said. So what do y'all think about that? And it's basically like I said, um... He didn't want to be like, okay, I'm going to apologize, but I'm not going to apologize because y'all giving me an ultimatum when I've already apologized. And it'd be like, okay, well, he knew 
he wasn't going to be able to host the Oscars if he didn't apologize. So that's the only reason why he's hosting the Oscars is because he apologized. He's like, nah, I'm good. I'm good on y'all Oscars. I don't need to do the Oscars. He apologized again, you know, for the people that he offended. And then was like, okay, I don't need the Oscars. I'll, I'll, I'll decline. I'm going to step back. I'm going to step away. And not only because he doesn't want the... um. The people who are going to, you know, like the winners, the people who's going to walk away with, you know, awards. He don't want anything to be taken away from them and focus more on, you know, what what he's going through with the media, with the LGBT, you know, Q community. And I hope I said that right. LBGTQ. I think I said that right. But, you know, not only because of that, but again, he just feels like, you know what? I already apologized. I'm not going to apologize again. Um, you're not going to give me an ultimatum. I'll do it because just out of respect for people, you know, who are offended, I'll do it again. But this is something that he don't want people to hold over his head. The next time something comes up and the next time somebody wants him to hold something and the next time somebody hears about, oh, did y'all hear about that? What he said, you know, five, ten years ago. I don't think he should be hosting that show. We gonna write in and we gonna try to, you know, protest and we're gonna, you know, and make him apologize. Like, how many times does somebody have to apologize? And why don't people believe that people can grow? This happened ten years ago. Ten years ago, and granted, he's the you know, joked about stuff like that on more than one occasion, you know, through the years, you know, as being a comedian, as being a stand-up, but I don't know. It's like, how far do y'all feel like PC culture has went too far? Political correctness. Do y'all feel like this goes too far sometimes? Do y'all? Like, really? Um, it's like, out of all people, <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I just think, like, out of all people, comedians should have a little more leeway in what they joke about because it's just jokes. Now, if somebody got on their platform serious and said, gay people, some, some, something, or, or, you know, ladies or women, some, some, I mean, just harsh and critical and they tweeted it or posted it. And it was like, it's not in a comedic frame of mind. I mean, I'll be looking at them like, dang, that's messed up. But I don't know. Y'all let me hide. let me know how y'all feel about it. Let me know how y'all feel about it. But um, something else that I had came across, I want to read to y'all. Something that had came across. <clears throat> I'm going to read this. I, I found it on a website, so it's not my words. But somebody has said that their point is, that the political correctness movement has gone way too far. While the original intent of political correctness may have been good to encourage tact and sensitivity to others' feelings around issues of like gender, race, religion, sexual orientation, physical abilities, and such, the effect of political correctness has been to make everyone avoid these topics altogether thereby hindering our ability to get comfortable in living and working with those who are different from us. It's gone so far that political correctness has become a bigger problem than the problem it was intended to address. That is a big message, a very big message. And I want to know how y'all feel about that. Uh, has political, have the PC culture gone too far? Do you think that Kevin made a mistake by turning down the, you know, turning down to host the show? Do you think so? Um, I know he had also mentioned, you know, when he was apologizing and saying that he was stepping down and everything, he had also mentioned that, you know, maybe 
him and the Oscars will meet again one day. Do y'all think that he'll ever get another opportunity to host the Oscars? You know, how do y'all feel about that? Um, even certain people like Seinfeld, you know, who's 64 years old. M most of y'all know who Seinfeld is. Um, he's a comedian. And uh, he even was like, you know, Jerry Seinfeld. He even was like, you know what? Kevin, Kevin Hart is in a position, you know, because he's a brilliant comedian. Um, and he decides what he wants to do. You know, nobody can tell him what to do. When you're so big and you're so huge and you make so much money, I mean, this man right now is in Australia touring, selling out. He's all around the world and I, 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 I. Whether he hosts these Oscars or not is not going to break him. Um, you know, I don't think, I don't think personally it'll do anything, you know, negative towards his career. I don't think so personally. And, you know, Seinfeld even said, you know, he don't have to step down, but he can. He can. You know, <laughs> and that's the whole thing is like, he can. You know, I, he could apologize and just be like, okay, I'm going to keep on doing the Oscars. But he's making a big statement. Like, you can't keep condemning people after they didn't already apologize for something that they done that to offend someone. You can't keep condemning them. And giving them ultimatums. I mean, I, I don't like how they did that. I don't like how, I don't know. It's like when certain people do stuff and an outpour of negativity comes from a certain community or whatever, no matter where, where it comes from. Not just saying the LGBT. I'm not saying that. But it's like... The person who's getting blamed for something, even if they already apologized or something, is like they get, um, now they're kind of like the, I don't know, I wouldn't say the victim, I don't want to say the victim, but <laughs> I hope y'all can understand what I'm saying. It's like, okay, now they've already apologized and people are still condemning them for it. And then somebody tells them, well, because of all these people over here mad at you, you got to do this in order for us to do this. It's like they don't get any, it's just automatic. It's like they don't think about it. They don't be like, okay, well, Kevin, you know, he, he did apologize for that. So even though they over there, you know, is talking stuff and whatever, we're still going to let him do it because we knew he apologized and, you know, that's that. But because it's the Oscars and it's so huge and they want people to watch and all this kind of stuff, they're basically demanding from him, it's either this or that. Make up your mind. And he was like, peace. <laughs> he was like, peace. <laughs> I don't need you. I don't need it. <laughs> like Jamie Foxx. <laughs> he was like, I don't need it. <laughs> but, um, anywho, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation. Um, Jerry Seinfeld, what did he say? He said, uh, he said, Kevin, he said, Kevin will be all right. Kevin will be fine. Um, he said, but, they will never find another person as brilliant as guy, as, as brilliant as him with a movie career. Somebody who's on the top of the charts as far as in the comedic industry and the movie industry at the same time. And as brilliant as him to host. I don't even think they found somebody to host yet. I mean, if, if y'all heard anything, let me know, you know, put it in the chat, but I haven't heard about them finding a replacement for him yet. Um, so again, y'all let me know if y'all heard anything about it, but as far as I know, they still looking, they still looking. So I, I'm anxious to find out, I'm really anxious to find out who they are going to choose to replace Kevin Hart. So that should be, you know, interesting. Hmm.
<laughs> but anyway, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. Uh, let me know what y'all think about the Oscars. Are y'all a big fan of the Oscars? Do y'all even watch the Oscars? Do y'all care about the Oscars? Or is it just one of those shows like me where I record it and then I just fast forward through it? to see what I want to see because I cannot sit and watch the whole, I mean, a lot of those movies and shows, I'm like, what is that? When did that come out? That came out this year. That came out last year. I never heard of that show. Never seen a commercial. I mean, <laughs> I'm that, that's how I am, you know, with the, like, and then, uh, okay. I don't know. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about it and put it in the chats. Again, make sure you like the video. Make